As the day begins, homes, offices, industries and farmers plug in various appliances. The demand for electricity steadily builds up. Later in the evening, as household lights and air conditioners are switched on, electricity demand starts growing further and reaches a peak. The demand for electricity goes up and down not just during the day. It can have a different pattern on weekends or on special occasions like festivals. Demand also varies according to seasons, weather conditions, geographic locations or lifestyles of people. In future, new technologies like electric vehicles may also change the pattern of demand. Or for that matter, even supply could vary if power is coming not just from conventional sources of energy, but also from renewable and intermittent sources like solar or wind. It is the duty of any power utility to meet the varying demand of its consumers at any instant of time. In case there is a gap, it must procure power from the market at additional cost, leading to higher tariff for consumers. Or if power is not readily available, it has to resort to load shedding. So then, how can a utility fulfill its responsibility of providing reliable and affordable power to its consumers? It can only do so through demand side management or DSM a concept which helps to better manage demand by either reducing electricity consumption or shifting it from peak to off-peak hours. DSM opportunities can be identified through comprehensive load research. This involves understanding the load curve of a utility, mainly its patterns of daily and seasonal variations of demand and the behavior of different consumer categories essentially drawn from a consumer survey to know which loads are contributing to peak demand. In a recent study done by Terry for Mescom in 2017, a power utility in Karnataka, whose consumer mix comprises domestic, agriculture, industrial and commercial sectors, the load research revealed significant seasonal variation. Monsoon months showed the least demand, followed by winter. The summer months from March to May were peak months, primarily because of the domestic load and the agriculture load of the rabi season. The study also revealed different consumer behaviors. For example, the consumer survey found out that most of the small and medium enterprises under MESCOM have enormous opportunities to replace energy inefficient motors with efficient ones. In agriculture too, the users are small and marginal farmers, majority using more than 10 year old pump sets. In some cases, motors had been rewound more than three times. Based on these insights, the demand side management plan suggested a range of interventions. It encouraged industries to go for energy audits through a cluster-based approach, use energy-efficient motors and explore the scope of demand response, meaning using IT-enabled services that allows industry to reduce consumption dynamically at the time of system peak and shift it to off-peak hours. For agriculture, the plan proposed promotion of energy-efficient pump sets and irrigation techniques and solar water pumping systems. In the domestic sector, the plan suggested wide adoption of energy-efficient air conditioners and LED lighting. MESCOM can now prioritize these interventions, seek regulatory approvals. The concept of demand-side management in India is not new but even today, it is yet to pick up because of lack of proper metering and availability of digital records of granular data. However, demand-side management is a critical need of the hour and indeed, it is a win-win for all. It saves utilities from purchasing expensive power to meet demand. The consumers do not have to suffer power cuts. The government can deliver its promise of 24-7 power and manufacturers can have a ready market for energy-efficient appliances. But above all, by reducing the need to generate more power, 
that often comes from polluting fossil fuels. The big promise of demand-side management is a cleaner and safer environment for all.